All right, so at first, I wasn't gonna cover this data download, mainly because I thought it was just stuff related to the thank you celebration, which is already here, right? But then I took a closer look, and as it turns out, there's actually a bunch of stuff in here that we're not gonna see for a while, is not quite ready for release, but is now officially in the global database after this data download. And that actually explains why the file this time was so big compared to normal, right? I think it was like 650 megabytes or so. So if you guys are curious about exactly what we got in this global data download, then make sure to keep watching. But of course, before we jump into it, I do have to give a big shout out to my boy Proton10MG on Twitter for posting all these assets. If you guys aren't already following him, then definitely go ahead and do so. And with that said, let's uh, scroll down a bit here and see what's going on. Okay, so of course, first things first, we do have a few assets for things from the thank you celebration, like the Tech LR Goku and Vegeta. There's the uh, SSR, and then we have the TUR, and finally the LR, as well as the fusion into Gogeta. So that's the Tech Gogeta. We also have the new AGL Super Saiyan Go tanks. And then from there, we have some new category labels for the time limit category. We have the STR Final Form Frieza and the Army of the Dead free to play unit. And there's the Token Awakening Medal. We have a uh, special stage for the, uh, what's it called? Secret Technique Awakened Fusion Fighter. So this is the stage for the uh, fusion category uh, skill orbs. And we also have uh, the new Dokkan event stage for the LR Gogeta. There's the Dokkan Awakening Medal. And then from there, we have some non-translated category labels. Now, I can't read Japanese, so I don't know exactly what this is, but um, it's definitely a category led by one of the upcoming units in the future. So there you go. We also have non-translated units. The first one is the Fizz LR Super Janemba, who is uh, going to be coming next for Global. He's going to be the Legendary Summon Banner after the uh, Tech Gogeta Banner. So there's the SSR form, there's the TUR form, and finally we have the LR as well as the uh, Rage uh, mode as well. And then there's non-translated assets for the STR Super Vegeta, which I know a lot of people are very, very excited for. And this guy should be coming, I guess, sometime in the beginning of December or mid-December, something like that. I'm not 100% sure, but definitely before the end of 2021. And along with him, we also have the non-translated assets for the side unit on the Vegeta banner, the uh, STR second form cell. So there you go. And we also have non-translated assets for AGL Margarita, which is uh, definitely a fan favorite. So there's the SSR, and there's the TUR, and there's also going to be a tech. I don't remember exactly how to say her name. Is it Kawei? Kawei. Kawei. Go with Kawei for now. My apologies. Uh, but there you go. She's also coming with the uh, Margarita. And I believe on JP, they were part of a double rates banner, a um, Rising Dragon Carnival. So Global's probably going to get the same thing, maybe like around Christmas time or something like that. So uh, yeah, Margarita as well as Kawei, I think. And then from there, we have non-translated assets for STR LR Kid Gohan, who is the next uh, Prime Battle LR, which... Uh, you know, we'll be getting soon, hopefully before the end of the year. There you go. And uh, from there, we have non-translated Dokkan event for STR Super Vegeta. So there's the stage, and there's the untranslated medal, clearly in Japanese. And then we have three stages for the Prime Battle LR Kid Gohan, stage one, two, and three. And we also have the non-translated medals for the Kid Gohan as well. From there, we have stage 15 of Infinite Dragon Ball History, and this one is translated because this is the fusion stage, which is currently live on Global. We also have the Extreme Z area for the Android slash Cell Saga. Uh, oh, stages 3 and 4 for the Android slash Cell Saga Extreme Z area, and I believe this one is uh, not out yet because 
these are for the um, the Android 18 as well as the Super Saiyan Goku. And both of these EZAs are not available yet. As you can see, the medals are untranslated still in Japanese at the moment. So those are going to be coming in the future. And we also have the Extreme Z Area Hero Extermination Plan stages 13 to 18, which are also coming in the future. Um, and those are for the STR Majub, the Fizz Goku, the uh, Fizz Vegeta. Uh, I forgot what type this is. Is it Tech Vegeta? I think Tech Vegeta. Or is this Fizz Vegeta Tech? I don't know. Two Vegetas. And we also have the AGL Super Saiyan Goku, the Fizz Gohan, and uh, a bunch of Extreme Z Awakening medals for these guys. As well, of course, as you can see, once again, untranslated, just like most of the other things in this data download. Um, as I said, most of these things are not ready for release yet. They're all just, I guess, kind of there as placeholders. They're getting them ready for release at some point in the future. But um, yeah, they need to be translated first before, of course, they can be released on the global side. And then we have uh, side EZA sticker masks for two different buff Gohans. Sorry. Trunks, Trunks is. Why do I keep mixing up Trunks and Gohan? I don't understand. Uh, is it because they're both pure um, hybrid Saiyans, or I, I don't really know. I mean, obviously they are they are connected in some way, right? The Master Disciple thing, but yeah, I don't know, man. I know it's Trunks. I know it's Trunks. I just in my mind somehow Gohan and Trunks get like mixed sometimes. Um, and then from there we have the uh, sticker mask for the Tech Pycon, whose EZA I think is either live right now or going to be live in a couple days, because um, obviously he's coming with the Gogeta celebration, right? Or part is part of the Gogeta theme. So um, yeah, we got the Tech Pycon. We got non-translated Extreme Super Battle stages uh, 21 to 30, 21 to 30, along with the untranslated medal for the. Uh, LR Goku and Bulma Extreme Z Awakening, so look forward to that. And then we also have the non-translated Extreme Z area for Fizz LR Great Saiyan Man 1 and 2, along with their Extreme Z Awakening medal. There's the Vegeta Legendary Event, or Legendary Vegeta Event, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, not available yet, but we'll be coming with the Super Vegeta release, right? So uh, that's also something else to look forward to on Global. We have a non-translated Vegeta support memory. We have non-translated Extreme Z battles for the LR Majin Vegeta, and also the uh, Tech Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku. And we also have the non-translated Extreme Z battle assets for the Peppy Gals Extreme Z Awakening, where all five of these Peppy Gals units will be getting Extreme Z Awakenings. We have the uh, Extreme Z Awakening medals, of course, for the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku. Extreme Z Awakening medals for the Peppy Gals right here, the Bulma, the Videl, the Pan, who's not a Peppy Gal, unfortunately, or fortunately, I don't know. Anyways, uh, <laughs> the Mai, and also the Android 18, who is definitely a Peppy Gal. And uh, from there, we have the Majo Majita Extreme Z Awakening medal. We have the sticker masks for the uh, various uh, Extreme Z Awakenings for the uh, girls here. And we also have new extreme, uh, sorry, explosive chain paddle bosses. There is the second form um, cell as well as the Super Janemba. And then we have all of the Petom Battle Series 4 um, stickers, I guess. So I'll just give you guys a quick look at all of these. Not going to really focus on any of them for too long because there's a lot of them. But you guys can take a look here. Yep. Extreme, or sorry, uh, expl uh, pet, pet on battle, pet on battle. I'm getting all the names mixed up now. Yeah, pet on battle series four coming soon. The global. There you go. Almost done. I think there are about forty in total, or is it thirty-seven or something like that? Uh, I think it's thirty. Yeah, I guess it's thirty-six, thirty-seven, somewhere around there. And then we have uh, the Series 4 binder, so I guess this might be the label for Series 4. Uh, there's the um, other assets <laughs> for for Pets on Battle. And I guess we could call these packs or something like that. I don't know. I don't know what you want to call it, but yeah, more Pets on Battle assets. And then we have new tickets. So we have a Wish Strip, 
we have a comeback ticket and uh, we also have a Dokkan thank you um, gift card which we are able to get right now and there's also some other tickets now this I believe is for the legendary Vegeta event this is a rainbow ticket uh, I mean JP got it for Tenabata I don't know if we're gonna be getting them on global though I don't think we're getting them on global I'm not really sure why we're getting I mean unless it's for another celebration later on like for Christmas or something like that oh you know what no, this should be for the Tanabata banner, or rather the Thank You Celebration banner, right? So that's the one with the uh, UI Goku and the SSB Vegeta as well, I think. So I guess we're going to be getting rainbow tickets, which is not a huge surprise because JP did get them. And I didn't think that they were going to shaft global like that. So rainbow tickets probably coming um, soon since the Tanabata banner is coming in about a week or so. And then we have some story assets. We've got Angel Goku. We got the Goku and Vegeta fusing. We got some Super Vegetas, which obviously are for the Super Vegeta release. We also have the Kid Gohan <laughs> assets for his uh, Prime Battle event, and then some more uh, Angel Vegeta, some some Super Gogeta, and uh, some Hachan as well or Aider. Now apparently these are just assets that were fixed. I don't know exactly what they changed though. So let's play uh, Spot the Difference, I guess. Uh, let me see. What did they change? What did they fix? I don't see it, guys. I don't see any difference, honestly. The scars are the same. The hair is the same. The hands, the boots are the same. The pants look the same. His vest, sweater. I can't see it. What's the difference? What did they change? <laughs> Yo, unless I'm crazy, I feel like it's uh, it's like it's like the office where um, Pam is like holding two pictures and she's like spot the difference to Creed, and after she's like they're the same picture. Shout out to my office fans out there, but <laughs> it, it looks like the same picture to me, man. I don't I don't see any difference. The button's the same. Uh, I don't know. Apparently something was fixed. Something was fixed according to uh, Proton. So I'll trust them on that one, man. I'll trust them on that one. But there you go, guys. That is uh, basically a full breakdown of all of the assets that we got from this data download. That's why it was so big because there were so many things included in it, but most of the things that we got in this data download are not yet ready for release. Okay, they're just there. They're gonna be released in the future, probably before the end of the year, but um, there you go. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, before we go, obviously, make sure I want to remind people once again to follow my boy Proton10MG on Twitter. Without his services, none of these videos would be, would be possible. So uh, definitely go ahead and uh, do that. And yeah, I guess that's all I got to say, man. Got more uh, thank you celebration videos coming soon. We got to the new Infinite Dragon Ball History stage. We gotta talk about this thank you gift card and all these selections or all these units you can select which ones are the best and all that good stuff so uh, if you guys are you know interested in that then make sure to keep watching don't go anywhere as always if you liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time have an awesome awesome day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out <laughs>